energetic viewers, welcome to Healthy Living on Supreme Master Television. Last week, Dr. Jay Sutliff, who is an assistant professor at Chadron State College in Nebraska, USA, advised us about how to avoid increasingly common chronic illnesses through a plant-based diet. Dr. Sutliff is a vegan registered dietitian who teaches classes on topics ranging from general nutrition to international food policy. His research interests include disease prevention and veganism. Today, in the second and final part of our interview with Dr. Sutliff, we'll learn more about how simple lifestyle changes can reduce a common digestive disorder, lower the risk of cardiovascular disease, and prevent cancer. But first, Dr. Sutliff talks about why preventive medicine is so important and why starting life with healthy habits is best. So many times we're, we're running to and fro, we're running fast, we're trying to get here, and we're sacrificing health for convenience foods and a convenience lifestyle. So I think if we could work together with schools, colleges, and workplace, that comprehensively we can help reduce the risk of diseases later in life, but also if we could get these children started out, because we find that a lot of children, when they're born, they have an aversion to eating a lot of animal-based protein and a lot of times they have to acquire those habits. So if we could start helping out families uh, substitute a lot of their animal-based proteins with plant-based proteins earlier on and actually giving them cooking classes and cooking skills and recipes and uh, community-supported types of uh, programs, I think that we'd have greater longevity and I think that's where we have to go with our health care today. We have to start looking at a prevention model rather than a treatment model. Let us now learn about a condition commonly known as heartburn and what Dr. Sutliff recommends to relieve this condition. I've been running into for about the last 10 years on an increasing rate is known as GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, or commonly what we'd call heartburn. So when someone has heartburn, the first thing I look at is I look at their meal patterns. So what we find is that people are no longer eating three meals a day and uh, not eating between meals. We find people possibly eating all day long uh, and uh, doing something we call grazing, as similar to what cattle do. In fact, 97% of Americans snack on a daily basis. I tell people that the first thing they want to start doing is when they eat their food, they want to make sure they're chewing it very, very thorough so that you don't need liquids to get the food down. The second thing I tell people to do is minimize the amount of liquid that they're using with their meals because it's diluting the stomach acids in the stomach. And then the third thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're spreading your meals out four to five hours apart. We find that when we crowd those meals together, the food sits in there and the undigested food gets mixed in with the food that's partially digested. A lot of times the food starts to ferment and it'll start to regurgitate back up into the esophagus and start burning that lining. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we're not lying down after we're eating our meals because when we lie down that delays digestion and the food tends to pool and actually in the upper portion of the stomach and has more of a chance of, of actually regurgitating. If you start eating your fruit in the middle of your meal at the end of the meal fruit digests so quickly that if you eat it on top of the meal that it's basically delayed in its digestion and it could ferment and actually cause an acid reflux condition. So I tell people if they really want to fine-tune their system, they probably need to eat fruit alone or beginning of the meal and waiting 10 or 15 minutes before they eat the rest of their meal because the fruit digests so quickly. Each year, over 12 million people across the globe are diagnosed with cancer and 7.6 million succumb to the disease. How does a plant-based diet help prevent cancer? the number two cause of death in the United States is cancer. We're seeing a lot of uh, work being done with antioxidants and anti-aging medicine. And when you start looking at anti-aging compounds that have a lot of antioxidants, phytochemicals, and other nutrients that have been shown to reduce your risk of cancer, you find that the majority of them are found in plant-based products. And I think the best thing that we can do is that we found this from the uh, nurses study where they uh, surveyed over 80,000 nurses and they found that those that ate at least one serving of green leafy vegetables and a good vitamin C source every day had a dramatic reduction in cancer rates. Fresh fruits, tomatoes, uh, strawberries, 
Even potatoes have a lot of vitamin C and, of course, the whole citrus family. So green leafy vegetables and of good vitamin C source every day are some of the best things you can do to reduce your cancer risk. We will now pause for a brief message and soon return with more of Dr. Sutliff's thoughts on cancer prevention. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Healthy Living on Supreme Master Television featuring our talk about important principles of diet and nutrition with Dr. Jay Sutliff, who is a vegan public health and nutrition expert. Another simple lifestyle adjustment that Dr. Sutliff recommends to keep cancer away is monitoring our emotional state and taking steps to release stress. Another area that we start looking at when we're talking about cancer prevention, we see that there's so many uh, chemicals in our body and the connection between our body and our mind is a real intimate connection. When we start looking at situations where people are in a very stressful situation or their emotional health is being compromised, we see that it also affects that the physiological makeup of the body, uh, creating uh, hormone imbalances and actually maybe even setting the stage for different conditions such as depression and cancer and even possibly even some of the uh, dementia that we're starting to see. So what we see that a lot of times uh, people will stuff different emotions in their body. They will not allow themselves to have an outlet. And I really encourage people to try to try to create a uh, inner circle of friends where you have different people that you can share different uh, situations with, and that you actually have like-minded people that you surround yourself with that have similar beliefs and uh, health habits. It it can actually restore your health and your mind, and actually be a greater emotional health and tie in with your physical health as well. Dr. Sutliff has some advice on food preparation with an eye on maximizing the nourishment we get from plant-based foods. Microwave ovens have a tendency to cook foods very, very quickly, and it's a very volatile cooking method where the molecules in the food are vibrating uh, against each other. When we cook on high heat and we, in a sense, zap our food with high heat like that, the nutrient contents really start to drop. And so minimize the amount of heat that we're applying to our food, only lightly steam our foods, and make sure that, especially the fruits and the vegetables, if we're cooking the fruits, okay, we want to minimize that. If we're going to cook the vegetables, just lightly steam them and consume them as soon as possible after they're cooked. How about nutritional supplements? What is Dr. Setlip's opinion on these items? Now, a lot of times people will ask me about what vitamins or what mineral supplements or different uh, dietary supplements they should be taking. I say that we should always be looking at trying the best that we can do with our dietary intake. If we can minimize the amount of supplementation that we're using and look primarily to our food and getting the best food we have available, possibly even organic foods or foods grown without chemicals that are good for the earth, and also good for the nutrients and good for the soil. We would be eating our foods straight from nature and trying to get most of our nutrients from our foods. Nature makes our vitamins best in the right distribution. Dr. Sutliff shares this concluding message to remind us of the intimate connections between physical health, the power of life-promoting vegan foods, our overall mental outlook, and inner peace. The last thing I'd like to say is that a lot of people think that nutrition is important, but being a nutritionist, I, I think very few people really understand the power of what we put into our bodies on a daily basis. And when we look at what we're doing every day, what are the habits that we're practicing every day? We need to put in foods that are really uh, life-forming, life-generating. And when we look at processed dead food that really doesn't give us any vitality, when we look at our relationships, when we're not honest with people, we're not honest with ourselves. if we can uh, deal with our anger issues, when we can deal with our failures, if we could celebrate our victories more, when we look at our holistic life, when we actually address the spiritual nature in our lives, I feel like we all have a God-shaped void in our lives until we uh, bring God into our lives and we have peace with God, that we have a difficult time being at peace with our fellow man. But when we look at what we're eating, how we're living, how we're looking at people, when we look at the way we're thinking, 
I would just challenge you to start evaluating your life, to celebrate your victories, to deal with your failures, to be at harmony with God and your fellow man. And I think you have greater longevity, and you're going to have a greater peace of mind, and you have a greater existence here while we're on this earth. Our appreciation, Dr. Sutliff, for sharing your deep knowledge on how we can keep fit, feel great, and have tremendous vitality through a vegan diet and by remembering to make spirituality and emotional stability a part of our lives. For more details on Dr. Sutliff, please visit www.csc.edu or www.fullcircleofwellness.com. Splendid viewers, thank you for being with us on today's Healthy Living. Next is Science and Spirituality after Noteworthy News. May we all enjoy life's magnificent abundance and vigor through divine blessings. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash HL 